It's like fixing Windows 98. Ah. Throw everything at it. Today was the first time I took out my Triumph Street Cup, which is kind of like a street twin, basically. And um, it's just weird um, fluctuations on the clocks, on the actual speedometer and the tachometer, just turning on and off, on and off, engine light, engine light off. Um, so I came right back because um, I didn't want to get stuck somewhere with, and it couldn't start, right? And um, I came back to explore what the issue was. Uh, and I used one of these code readers. You can, you can buy them on um, Amazon. They're not very expensive. And you just plug it in and you can see what code that the engine through, right? Turns out the code was P1690. And when you look it up online, it basically means that, that there's some kind of issue between uh, the ECU and the gauge cluster. And upon exploring the issue further, I mean, just, just look. If you see here, That's the wires rubbing up against the frame. And that's kind of throwing some codes and that causes the gauges to stop working. Um, it also prevents me from starting the bike from time to time. So what I'm gonna try to do is take this piece off. I don't know if you can see that right there um, and see if I can use electrical tape to tape up the wires and make sure that they're not rubbing up against the frame and see if that fixes the issue. If not, uh, I certainly don't want to take it in for that sort of thing, but I might have to. So we'll see. Um, but let's see if it, um, uh, I can kind of duplicate the problem and show you what the problem is. And here's a bit of a closer look to the frayed wires. You can see right there, the wires are kind of frayed and I'm, and apparently this is an issue within this model. I hate to say it, but Triumph, come on. I know you, you guys had a recall for this. I'm sure you guys had this situation fixed at some point. <laughs> anyway, um, since my bike is out of warranty, uh, I'm going to attempt to fix this myself. You can see that, right? Yep. And then they turned off. You can, you can tell that by the, by this gauge right here. Let's see if I can show that again. Come on, turn on. There it is. So you can see it popped back on. So it, it's clearly, it's it's making some kind of contact with the frame and that's causing the, uh, them to turn off, on and off right there. You can see that, see it's blinking right there. <laughs> professional electricians out there. I don't want to hear a peep. Yeah, the question is, do I know better than a Triumph mechanic how to route these? No. But you'd think that they'd see that it's rubbing right up against it and that could be an issue. I'm gonna to try to see if the problem is repeated without the panel here, without the little bracket here to squeeze the wire. If that's the issue, then I don't know what to do about that. Let's see. Okay, so that's in.
No, it just turned off, so you can't be the bracket. I think the wires are busted. Shit! Now I'm wondering if it's the actual connection between the clocks and the harness. So this piece right here. So it seems to be working. I don't know. Maybe the connection wasn't wasn't uh, good. Pulling on the connection a little bit, or what? But uh, I'm gonna button it all up and see if it still has issues. say that I fixed it. Maybe the cable was too tight. The only thing I can think of is that the cable was just too tight in there. Or it was maybe a little loose in there. But I haven't seen the error. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it was one thing that I did or a combination of things, but the bottom line is I haven't seen the, the, um, the fluctuation and you know, I adjusted and taped up the cable in here a little bit, moved it around, disassembled this part right here and make sure that everything was connected. Maybe that was the issue. It just wasn't connected perfectly. Um, I, I just don't, I don't know, but bottom line is this whole section over here seems to rub on on um, on the wires, so it potentially caused it to pull it pull it away from the socket. And but now it seems to be okay, so I'll just keep an eye on it and and see. But now I kind of know what the deal is. So I just got back from a ride to test it out. Make sure it's not throwing up any more error codes. It does have an engine light on, but it's from all the attempts that I made to turn it on, turn it off, to test it out. But otherwise, it was pretty consistent. I didn't see any issues, so maybe maybe the problem has been fixed. Um, but I do have to uh, get rid of the code, so I'm going to kind of show you how to do that so you don't have to go um, to a dealer to do that. Uh, especially if you already know that it's fixed and you just kind of, all you have to do is dismiss the engine, the error code. And once again, you, you can just get one of these uh, OBD2 EOBD readers. Um, this one has got this connection. I don't even know what the, the names of these connections are, but it's basically, you just plug it in and uh, plug it in, read the code, and you can dismiss it and blah, blah, blah. This is kind of, Fairly simple and easy, but uh, I'll, show, I'll walk you through it real quick so you can see how it's done. Basically, you have to find where this connects to in your motorcycle. It could be, most likely, it's under your seat where the guts are. In the Triumph's case, it's under the seat. You just have to pop it off, plug it in. In this case, I'll show you real quick. It is right here, this piece right here. It comes up, and you can see right there. This is kind of where you plug it in, right here. 
can see, just kind of make sure that it's the correct way. And you can see this already lights up. And what you want to do is you want to start the motorcycle and turn in the ignition switch on. And then navigate to the correct menu. And then it'll ask you if you want to read codes, erase codes. So let's read the code and let's see what the issue is. P1695. That's a different code. So I'll look that up and see what that is. You can erase the code. Okay, and that should be gone. No codes. It says no codes. Again, you can read the code. You can erase codes. And that's it. Well, once again, I wanna, let's turn that off so it's not screaming at me. <sighs> Thanks for coming by and being a witness to my struggles. Until next time, ride safe.